greetings my beautiful reflections um, I want to make this video this in my opinion is an important video just because water is very important all right so I have a cup here with empty with um, fill just regular top water and um, an empty glass here for part of the demonstration but before I get into the demonstration of the water I'm gonna talk about the two most important element that we um, overlook I'm gonna talk about um, the wind right and I'm gonna talk about um, sunlight right just briefly right so um, a lot of time we this disregard this beautiful breeze let's just call it breeze that 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 we are never out of right the one element that we cannot do without this the one most important thing that we cannot do without you know you might go without hearing go without seeing go without smelling right but you can't really go without smelling actually because that's that's where the breath come in that's where this wind come in right but you can go without tasting etc right and there's an abundance of information within the wind but we cannot see it you know we can we, we're not in tune as yet to see it we're not evolved as yet to, to see the abundance of information right but just stop for a second and, and think that that's what gives us life right that's what we come in with with the breath and we leave here with the breath right so right there and then that should give a, a, a simple example of how important the breath is right it's, it's, it's life let's just call it life and then now we have the Sun that powers everything literally powers everything right again like we cannot see the invisible spectrum of the Sun of the rays of the Sun right but we disregard it because we are living in a very physical world where if we cannot touch it, if we cannot see it, it does not exist. But let me draw this, this little analogy just to debunk that stuff exists beyond our visible spectrum. Right? We cannot see the Wi-Fi signal. We cannot see, look out, we don't know where it's coming from. We might see a tower there. But there's no light that's beaming from the tower that's within our visible spectrum that would let us know like hey this information is what is allowing my phone to access like your family friends regardless of part of the globe they locate right but just by having those invisible frequency connect to our phones we're able to connect you know to have social media and have data and all of this stuff so right there and then it let us know that stuff exists beyond our um let's just call it what we can see all right and within these two elements there's a lot that we need to be healthy to be in tune to be cosmic cosmically in tune to allow our body to access divine information etc now water is very 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 important for us to be able to access these information right water in case memory water is it's not even a solid you might call it a liquid but then it's not even real liquid right but you can pour water in anything and water take the shape of whatever it is you pour it in right I can speak into this water I'm a divine soul and I can drink it and I can literally raise my frequency I am a successful businessman I can speak all of these things and the water is basically being programmed by my words right it's being programmed by my words so it is a very important 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 um, element that we need but we're not aware of the importance of it right water is what structure our body all of our memories are encased in the water in our bodies right all of the memories from this lifetime to however many parallel lifetime we live the memory is encased in the water right and on a physical level it helps keep you looking young keep you hydrated keep you having nice skin 
uh, oxygenate the brain, all of these stuff, right? But it goes beyond the physical, right? And um, a lot of times we, we're not too bothered with, with the quality of water that we drink. Like this still water is one of the best water that we can drink that is, is good for us. And this still is just another word for pure because a lot of time persons like this still water, you mean the battery water? No, it's just a way to keep us, let's just say, fearful of drinking distilled water or drinking pure water by giving it another name and say, oh, is this for the car, right? But just like how if you put tap water in the car, it's gonna mash up the engine, just like that, it's gonna mash up our system. Uh, if you put distilled water in your system, in the, in the car, and you have the car running smoother and longer, this is gonna be the same thing for us, right? So a way we can like charge our water, right? With some life force and um, energies, like I just referred to the importance and the information that's within the the wind and the information that's within the the, um, the sun, right? So what we can do to, cause then stop for a second. Most of our waters are trapped whether it's trapped underneath the soil you know and whatever they have it trapped in or it's in a bottle or whatever most of it is trapped right and because it's trapped there's no life force energy in the water water is alive right so just because the water is trapped there, there are no um life force energy in the water so we pretty much most of the time drinking dead water that does not have much information to feed us because if you lock any living thing in a room and it's not exposed to light or um, air it's gonna pretty much pass passed on um, very soon right so what we can do to add more life to, to the water is just simply right pour it from one um, container right and just by doing this you're charging it with the elements right and it'd be better if you can do it outdoor because um there's an abundance of clean air outside and there's an abundance of information within the, the rays of the sun, right? But look, you can see it start bubbling, right? And just by, by um, doing this, this simple method here, right? You simply be, be adding life to your water. You simply be adding life to your water. When somebody is, is like almost checked out, you know, we give them CPR, which is pretty much giving them um, some, some life force energy, some, some, some breath, right? So just by doing this simple method here, you could be charging your water, and not just water, right? You can do it to your juice, anything like that, because um, these are important elements, important elements, right? So I just wanted to share this quick little video because um, I've just been getting some, some more downloads on water, and water is, is like, it's so much that I'm, I'm open to, to learning about water because like I might understand a little bit but I've just been getting like like some crazy downloads that like whenever the rain fall I'm, I'm just like excited to you know have this water on my skin and I feel like so heavenly is having this rain water on my skin you know like I stop with all this other water if it's not distilled water I'm not drinking it right because health is wealth you know what I mean and knowledge is power and um, we're in the age of information and um, I think the system is designed in a way where we're busy with our nine to fives or we're busy with watching power or or some, some for some persons young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful and um, you know all these other programs and nothing wrong with that you're entitled to live however you choose do whatever you you want to but i uh, i think um understanding what works for us and how to sustain um health is also important right so do what you want to do but everything in moderation right but back to the topic um water is very 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 important it's absolutely important right and um the less the more water we have in our body is the more life force energy we have in our body and this is just a little side note but um almost everything we eat um it, it dehydrates the body almost everything we eat let's say except for some fruits right because if you take some rice some 
pasta, some nuts, some nuts, right? Seeds, certain things, and you put it in water. What happened, right? The water, it sucks up the water. It sucks up the water, right? So, we're in, in one sense taking away the life force energy, which is water, right? The element that, that pretty much give us life. That helps sustain us like help us to, to process all this information whether it's from the sun the wind you know movement you know songs you know what is what helps process this information have this information to travel throughout the system right so when we eat the more we eat and we're not drinking enough then we basically taking away from our life force we basically you know shortening our lifespan because we're not drinking enough we're not fasting enough right so um and the next thing, it's not a side note because knowledge, knowledge is, is one whole, right? So, uh, and the next thing, um, what was it I'm going to say? Oh, shit. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, um, I don't want to pause the video, so I'm going to try to remember. Oh, can't remember. <laughs>